New clinical trial results show that stem cells can restore erectile function in previously impotent men. Well, let's now talk to the lead researcher, Dr. Marta Ha from the Odense University Hospital in Denmark, and also Professor Jens Sengsen from the EAU Scientific Committee. Hello to both of you. So, Marta, tell me about your research. What did you do? We had uh, 21 men with erectile dysfunction, and uh, we were looking for if uh, stem cells could be used as treatment for erectile dysfunction. This is a first in human with the human fat uh, stem cells. And uh, our study is uh, feasible and we saw that uh, it was safe to use this treatment. And it was effective? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it shows signs of effect, yeah, but it's a phase one study with no control group. So we, can't, we have to do a bigger study with a control group, blinded, randomized. And how easy or difficult was the process of getting the stem cells and injecting them? That's the best part because in Odense we don't have a stem cell laboratory. So uh, we have to, we did a fat harvesting and processed the stem cells within two hours before we injected the stem cells back again. So it's very easily obtained and easily isolated and easily injected again. And how widespread are erectile problems? I mean, how big a problem are you solving if this is going to be the solution? It would be great if we could find something to regenerate erectile dysfunction instead of treating just the symptoms. Many men, I think, would be very pleased. I think you're absolutely right. And if we speak to Professor Sengsen now, what's your reaction to this uh, research? First of all, congratulations on this uh, phase one study. I, I, I'm really uh, impressed about this because this is really the first time where we have seen lab results transferred into the clinical world. And uh, that's uh, not to take down the, all the other lab results, but we know the success rate when we are doing lab studies in animals it is very, very difficult sometimes to, to get into the clinical world, to so the human world. So I am very impressed and, and, and I am also aware this is a phase one study, but that's the way it is. We have to start uh, there. And uh, you, ha you have really shown the safetyness of, of, of this here. And it's, in my view, also not so complicated. You can just harvest the fats themselves. It's within two hours. So I am really, really looking forward and is very excited about the future. And I know Mart says she will do the control study. And that's what we are waiting for now. And we will really look for this. Do you think that we need to be a little bit cautious, obviously because it is only said 21 men, or do you think we need to be optimistic? Because this could be dynamite if this, if this is the answer. I believe we should be optimistic, but we should also all, all times think about the evidence. And as Marta said, it's not a controlled study. But I think if we look into the results, it's very, very positive. And that's the way it is for, from a pilot. So I think I believe we should be very optimistic, but we have to wait until, as you said, the controlled study is coming. So what's the next uh, step then, Marta? We have planned for a greater study with 78 men with the, half of them getting placebo and the other half getting stem cells. And then after half a year, I'll be unblinded and the patients will be unblinded and see, did they get, yeah, is there a big difference? Is, is there a difference we hope for? Anyway, we have to find out. We've been uh, waiting for stem cells so many years. We need to know, is it working or not? And even if it's not working, it's still a result. There you are, negative result is still a result. Yeah. Okay, well, both of you, thank you very much. Thank you very much.